and everybody should be like that. You know, whether you've been in the gym for two months, two years, shit, 20 years, you always can learn something new. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy David back with another video. Y'all already know how we doing on this channel, man. And today I'm coming to y'all straight from my car because I'm on my way to the gym right now, and I figured it's best for me to just go ahead and talk to y'all right now, let y'all know what we're doing. So when I get to the gym, we can get straight to the action. So right now I'm on my way to the new gym. If y'all been following me on Instagram and keeping up with things, then y'all know that I had to switch gyms recently because. The last video I posted for y'all, it was the hamstring workout video. Well, I guess whenever I went and did the whole little production thing with like the tripod and whatnot, like recording and stuff, they didn't really like that. Like, they ain't never told me nothing before, you know, when I was recording other videos and stuff like that. But all of a sudden, it's a big deal when I came out with, you know, the bigger camera and stuff like that. So they like i wasn't really tripping on it in the beginning but then they started putting all these dang uh you know signs up and stuff like that so i was like all right i'm gonna just have to go ahead and you know bounce up out of here find me in a little spot uh, we're gonna be hitting legs today this is gonna be my first time hitting legs at this spot so i don't really even know like you know what kind of leg workout we're gonna really get i did scope out some of the equipment in there and like some of the equipment look good it's definitely a lot more than what we had before at the old gym so i'm definitely looking forward to that so man y'all stay tuned it's gonna be a good one let's get it All right, fam, here we go. We in the gym now, so I'm starting off with some calves today. We did not forget to do calves first today. So I'm starting off with some standing calf raises. This is my first time uh, seeing a machine like this. It's a plate-loaded calf machine. So we're starting off with this. Let's get it. You already know, full workout will be in the description. It's like my fifth set of calves so far. We're gonna do about 10 sets today. Why you upset like Cinderella teens? Used to see the things I fit inside these denim jeans. I can't associate with y'all this shit like ketamine. Been on one, been on two, been on everything. All right, fam, we're gonna start off with some hack squats. Um, not sure how many sets we're gonna do, but this is probably gonna be our primary uh, quad movement or like heavy quad movement for today. We'll see how it goes. It's my first time doing this machine, so still just trying to get comfortable with it, see where I feel I get the most out of the workout, trying to really hit my quads and trying to get good depth on it, but also not trying to, you know, feel any pain in my knees or anything like that. So I have my legs a little further up on the platform. I also don't want to be, you know, too far down. And then where I'm coming down, my knees are, you know, over my toes and putting a lot of pressure on my knees. I want to be just in the right position where I can get good depth and I can keep, you know, my knees in the same plane as my um, heel toe. Yep. Let's get it. Not gonna lie, I was trying to wear my belt just because I felt, you know, to keep things tighter, but it does not feel good while doing this exercise, so. Not doing that. With my gang, with my squad, what the fuck you want? So be rolling gas, I can't hang, bitch, I'm fucking gone. I got people down from the jump, better know your bonds. I got people just tuning in, and the love is strong. Damn, they gon' want a piece when you got it like that. Like Jake said, we gon' spend it, get it right back. Stack that internet money till the site crash. They on IG, try to get a light back. Man, I ain't even finna hold, y'all. This squad machine is heavy, like as in. Like this three plates feels real heavy. Like almost like four plates of what I would consider on like other hack squat machines I've been on before. But ain't no excuses, y'all already know how it go. We're gonna still get it. Also, I don't know if I said in the car or not, but I think I said today I'm hitting legs, but um, I'm hitting quads, just quads. I already hit hamstrings this week, so now I'm hitting quads. All right. Don't talk that talk, they just type fast. Yeah, we real life, cool, it's really like that. I might roll an eighth inside the blunt, that's a nightcap. Like, where my lighter at? Boy, I got a flight to cash. Through these us and these downs, with a guy and a dead thing change. Don't forget where that sauce came from, best remember my name. You take L's every once in a while, got a charge to the game. You gotta 
charge it to the game. All right, next show, we're gonna do the belt squat uh, machine. I really love this machine, but I haven't been in enough gyms that actually have this piece of equipment. So I'm happy to be, you know, here at my new gym with this equipment. So I'm definitely, y'all gonna definitely be seeing a lot of this. This uh, machine right here is really good for getting a lot of activation on your quads, you know, the same way as you would with um, a regular barbell squat, but you don't have to put all the weight on your back. So there's no pressure on your lower back or on your spine. A lot of the weight and all the, um, <coughs> excuse me, a lot of the weight and all the force of the weight is put on your quads. The tension is put on your quads and not any other else, uh, any other compromising areas. So let's get it, man. Again, as y'all see, every time with my first set on any movement, I'm always trying to get a feel for it. I'm trying to get a feel for where, where do my feet need to go in order for this exercise um, to feel comfortable for me. If something doesn't feel comfortable, change it, you know? Don't feel like you have to be hooked to, you know, one position or one form. Every machine is different. Every piece of equipment is different. <sighs> yep. So that first set, it felt good, but I'm not all the way just comfortable with it yet. I feel like I'm still not getting full activation of my quads. So we're gonna go up slowly. We're not gonna go up too fast just yet. And honestly, it might take a while for me to get, you know, used to this piece of equipment. Or like, you know, and that's okay, cause this is a journey. It's not, I'm not in no hurry to figure this piece of equipment out. It ain't going nowhere. Not gonna lie, towards the end of that set, I definitely started feeling it a lot more. Felt more comfortable, so we're getting there. Also, if y'all got tips for me with this machine, uh, let me know down below in the comment section, you know? A lot of times, I'm not gonna pretend to be a person that knows it all. At the end of the day, I'm learning, and this is a journey as well for me. I'm never um, not open to hearing what somebody else has to say in terms of you know, um, something that can help me. You know, of course, I analyze the, the information for myself and test it myself, but I'm always open to advice. So again, and everybody should be like that. You know, whether you've been in the gym for two months, two years, shit, 20 years, you always can learn something new. Ah, come on. Feed the fan. These fuck boys need to grow up like Peter Pan. Sometimes I get so high, I never land. Ain't no need to overthink it, I already understand. They be plotting on my downfall and need another plan. But we welcome all that hating. I'm like, thank you, come again. All right, next we're gonna do some hip thrust machines. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Uh, our hip thrust machines. We're gonna do the hip thrust machine. Uh, so we're gonna get this in. Again, this is another piece of equipment that. I haven't had in a lot of the gyms that I've been a member of. So really excited to start putting this in my leg routine. Now I gotta figure out how to work this thing. This might take a minute. <laughs> I'm so confused because I feel like there's supposed to be a belt. All right, so change of plans uh, with the hip thrust machine. There's a belt that we needed that's why i couldn't really figure it out it's a belt that i need to get from like the front desk i ain't trying to do all that i ain't even got time for that today so we're gonna do some leg uh, extensions don't really like this machine because i feel like the bar at the bottom sits way too low like i would rather it be a little bit more on my shins but it's too far down so i feel it just feels weird it feels more t i'm feeling more tension on my ankle than I, I would like. <sighs> There's two other leg extension machines, so if those open up, we'll be over there. If not, it is what it is. I ain't gonna lie, this one feel like the raggedy one of the bunch. I know I talk a lot about, um, you know, manipulating the machine um, and your form and the way you do things or do exercise to make it feel the most comfortable. 
But sometimes, just like in this case right here, there's nothing you really can do. Like this machine right here, the variables that I have to move this, I'm put, I put it at the highest it can go. So can't do nothing else. Oh snap, another one opened up. Here we go. As y'all can see, got another machine. Here we go. Off the game and gave a hundred to my man. I don't owe no money to him, I just did it cause I can. Yeah, round shit, we ain't got no clown shit. You a product of the people that you stick around with. Don't get caught up in the evil that'll have you down bad. Ain't no way around that, you gon' need a bounce back. With the people I came up with Charge a couple else in the game But I still love it Alright fam uh, To end the workout I was going to do some Bulgarian split squats But I decided I'm just going to go ahead and do this uh, Because uh, this is a linear hack squat machine uh, Which is another piece of equipment I haven't had for a while As you can see I was severely lacking at my other gym But no shade, no shade at all So we're going to do these uh, We're going to do one leg at a time Hold on, maybe not, <laughs> maybe not. I'm gonna have to lower the weight for that. Actually, so scratch that. Um, we're gonna actually do close stance squats uh, cause I'm really trying to work on my outer quad sweep. So that's what we're gonna do right here. In order to stay above it, I make it all out of nothing, yeah. Through these us and these downs with a guy and a dead thing change. Don't forget where that sauce came from, best remember my name. My name, my name, my name. Take L's A once in a while, got a charge to the game. You gotta charge it to the game. All right, fam, there y'all have it. Fully loaded leg workout. Nothing too crazy, only five exercises. Hold up. Yeah, we driving. I ain't gonna even hold y'all. I ain't got nothing to really hold this camera while I'm in the car. I honestly just sit it up on the dashboard, but we driving right now and that just ain't gonna work. So I'm just gonna hold y'all in my other hand. So also, if y'all didn't catch my last video uh, with hamstrings, make sure y'all go check that video out right there. Um, but until next time, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. And we out, man, stay prayed up, let's go.